Hello Virgo and welcome to your May 2022 Singles Love Reading. Virgo, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you. Please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Uh, feel free to check your moon and rising signs also to see if there's more information in those for you as well. Um, there can be some clarity or some more information. So again, feel free to check that. If you are new here, Welcome to my channel. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your trust and support, for your likes and subscribes. I really appreciate all your energies. I appreciate your comments and all your, um, oh gosh, really all your energies. I, I appreciate your, your energies, really, because... I love the comments. I love to hear feedback is the other word I was looking for. I love to hear feedback because it makes me feel that I'm not talking just to nobody, right? I know you all watch and I, I see you and I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so much. All right. Beautiful. It smells so good. I'm going to pull some clarifier cards for you, Virgo. Not clarifier. I'm sorry. Um, energy. Overall energy cards been a long reading day as you could probably tell from my voice all right we are popping right over mystery mystery this is singles Let's see there's two we're just going to take one if it's meant to come out again it's going to come out again wow there you go so we have mystery, we have time, and we have the worker. Hmm. So first and foremost, the mystery card, I see this as like um, hidden things coming to light. Um, the mystery card reminds me of the moon card. It reminds me of um, something hidden or something that is, uh, kind of being shown the way, lighting the path, uh, could be an illusion of delusion, something that you thought was one way isn't, you know, that kind of energy. Um, it could also mean that you want somebody that intrigues you. You're looking for a partner that intrigues you. You might be looking for somebody that you don't want to know everything about, right? So, um, with the mystery card, I, I go with the moon because of the phases here. And we just came out of April 30th was a new moon in Taurus. And it was a solar eclipse that was on April 30th. So this is a May reading, I know. But I'm just saying the energies are still there. May 16th is a full moon in Scorpio. And it's a lunar eclipse. And then we have a new moon May... I got a block. 30th in Gemini. So that there's a lot of moon activity going on, um, stuff that we're still going through that we're coming out of and that we have a lot going on. And I just feel like whatever it is you're manifesting is going to take time. You have two basically moon cards here. Give it a cycle. You know, these are both the same cycles here. So give it a cycle. It might take a cycle. It might take two cycles since you have both of them here. And in the meantime, work at whatever it is you want to manifest, you know, be diligent, um, I also feel like you want somebody in your life that is a worker. You don't want somebody that is going to slack. You don't want somebody in your life that is going to just mooch off of you. It's kind of what I'm feeling with that, with that worker energy as well. And then another thing with the worker too is um, maybe get yourself out into more social gatherings or getting out into more um, areas of the community, maybe to meet people. All right, we have beautiful world card. We have the Ace of Swords, beautiful. And we have the Queen of Swords. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, the Swords energy, the world card is the fixed energy of the signs of Aquarius, Leo, uh, Taurus, and Scorpio. The world card can be a completion especially under the time card it could be a time in your life where you've come to a completion or um you're finishing up something it could be like schooling it could be like job training it could be something along that nature 
where you're coming to the end of something you've worked really hard for. The world card could also mean, especially since this is a love reading, that you may meet somebody, but they're not going to be in your neck of the woods, so to speak. They're not going to be right down your street. They might be across the world. They might be somewhere else. There might be travel involved. You might be traveling. Um, again, under the time card, it could be whatever it is you're trying to manifest is going to take time. Maybe it's not an easy fix because they're not just right in your backyard. Um, there could be logistics there um, that you all need to get you know, overcome or, or, um, figure out, um, with the mystery card under the Ace of Swords, um, new thoughts, new ideas, new, new, um, communication coming in, new communication coming in. And I almost feel like, you know, the mystery card could mean too that, um, Somebody that might might reach out to, to contact you or, or somebody might have contact with you that might surprise you. There might be some surprise, like you didn't know that they felt this way or you didn't know that they knew or whatever. Um, that kind of energy could come into with the new communications with the Ace of Swords. And then we have the Queen of Swords under the worker. So this could be a person of interest coming in. This is a person that is, again, very communicative community commutative commit talks very well <laughs> can talk very well with you there's a lot of knowledge here there's a lot of um, honesty and integrity and um, again I think they're a hard worker I think they could be somebody in the community that you know or that you meet or that is um, again a potential um, the queen of swords energy they can be very blunt and to the point they they don't usually um, BS, you know, they, they tell it like it is. If they like you, you're going to know they like you. Um, so that could be some energy coming in. It has a queen. It could be a male. It could be non-gender conformant, whatever. It's just the energy. I say queen because it's a, a, you know, female on the card, but it can be whichever. Um, and again, it could be somebody you meet in the community, somebody that comes in for an event and you meet them even. Ha, ah, might need more than one. Got the Queen of Wands here. Wow. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Very fun. Very, um, very intuitive. Very fun queen that is, um, that is very much, you got three queens here. Really? Oh my gosh. They're saying, look at the bottom of the deck. The sun. New beginnings. Dawn of a new day. New start. New ideas. New horizons. Interesting. Sun's a card of Leo. Um, so there's potential here. There's another person here. The Queen of Wands. Uh, and this could be you. Because it is, it is Pentacles. Queen of Wands is about growth, about potential, about passion and desire, having fun, um, being really creative. Can be the mystery person, can be the secretive person. They're a fire sign, so they can have that that feeling of. Um, kind of uh, mystery, I guess. Having that mystery feeling about them. Having that feeling of intrigue. That's the word I'm looking for. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Energy coming in. They could be a teacher. They could be a professor. They could be somebody that is, um, again, like at a conference or something you're going to that's giving a lecture or teaching. You have the 
Seven of Pentacles. It's making your decision up. I just feel the Seven of Pentacles is you're planting your seeds. You're making up your mind about where you want your garden to grow. Um, you might want somebody single. You might want somebody that is, you know, financially stable, has their own business, doesn't have their own business, has children, doesn't have children, wants children, doesn't want children, has a house, doesn't have a house. You know, you're putting in your um, order. Now you've stepped back and you're waiting for it to come into fruition. There's a lot of potential here. You have the Queen of Pentacles, which is, could be you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be you. The grounded energy, the earth energy, the, the finances, holding on to your money, um, making money grow for you. Could be meeting somebody through work or at work or something you have to go to for work. You're definitely talking to somebody, somebodies, I think. You could be talking to somebody and then somebody is watching you or interested in you. The thing about you is that you're not in a hurry. You're not in a hurry. It's like you're biding your time trying to see what, what's going to happen. You're biding your time to see what's going to come of this is what I feel. All right clarifier for the queen of wands and the world card under the time is strength and this is a card of leo and this talks about not only outward strength but inward strength i also see this card as remembering that you know i kind of like to make stories up with the cards and this could be her lion she could have this line since it was a baby and they know each other very well. And she likes to show people that, you know, there's trust between the two of them. She can open his mouth and he won't bite her. But the thing she has to remember is that he is still a lion. He's still wild and he could very well, he very well may bite her, not intentionally or not because, you know, she's done something wrong, but it's just that it's in his nature. So, you know, even though we can put out an outward show of strength, if it's in our nature to kind of self-doubt, we need to take that into consideration too. Queen of Wands in the world. Queen of Wands can be very intense energy. And if we're not an intense person, if we're more laid back and more quiet, it might not be the energy that best suits us for this time. And we have to have the, the strength to, um, to say so. I almost feel like, could you make this work? Yes. But you feel like, um, ooh, what if, you know, what if that kind of that energy. Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords under the mystery. Yeah, whatever, you know, you may have been looking for this person or looking for a relationship, putting yourself out there for a long time. And it gets to be a chore. It gets to be a burden. It gets to be a lot to carry and a lot to have to juggle and a lot to have to do. Um, you feel like giving up. You feel like dropping it all and saying, forget it. You could be on several dating sites as well and maybe the juggle of that is hard maybe that in and of itself is hard but you have to you have to know that this is a 10 the 10 is the end of a cycle so something new can start something new new can begin so we we have we can have a queen come in or we can have an ace come in and we have the queen already here right and we have an ace already here so hang in there is what it's saying be be diligent be keep up the good fight keep it up you're you're being seen you're being noticed um, I think your hard work is paying off, but just don't drop them. Just don't let go right, right yet. You know, you can see the finish line. You know, again, it's, it's almost there. So just keep up, keep up. 
we have the Queen of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords and the Worker card. And all these are workers. <laughs> They're definitely all workers. But again, you could have met them at work or through a work function. Whoa. Ah, we have the Six of, Pen uh, six of Cups. One of these could be a person from your past coming back. One of these could be a person from your past coming back. You could be thinking about somebody from your past. Some type of nostalgia. You could be giving somebody from um, your past. You you know, maybe you're working with them now. Maybe you're going to give them a, another go. Maybe you're going to give them another chance. Maybe they've changed. Um, having them prove themselves. With the two queens and the worker, you really can't go wrong. I think the ball's in your court, and I think um, I think the familiarity of somebody from your past that may be coming back is going to be very comforting to you. It could also be where you're looking for that person maybe you're seeking them out maybe you're working to try to find them but i just feel that um you're very nostalgic and you're remembering when kind of energies exactly memories is pretty much what i just said you're you're remembering when hey gifts we like gifts right gifts um could have something to do with the the six of cups card there could be you know they could be um they could send you something there could be a gift involved maybe that's what sparks it maybe that's the nostalgia maybe um i just feel whatever works for you whatever works for you i just have that feeling I also feel the gifts card could be kind of like they're such a gift to me. They're a gift in my life. That kind of energy. And a lot of these people coming in, I think all of them could be older, mature people. You know, the maturity level. They may not be older than you, but they're mature. They're mature. tulip friendship and gratitude let us be grateful for the people who make us happy they are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom what a beautiful saying who was that who said that marcel proust beautiful read out of the book a little bit and Share your burdens with friends, friends and they become lighter. Share your burdens with friends. That's your burdens. Share them with friends or people you used to know. When you share your joys, they multiply and spread. Be grateful for true friends who are there for both the laughter and the tears. Right. There's definitely nostalgia here. This person's a true gift to you, I feel, Virgo. Alrighty. Let me know how this resonates, Virgo. I would love to hear from you. Please take care of yourself and each other. If you're interested, I do readings every Saturday for the week ahead. I post all 12 signs, so check that out if you're interested. And you can give me um, a subscribe and a like, um, a subscribe and um, hit the notification bell, and you won't miss any readings. And that way, you'll be sure to get the Saturday readings when they come out for the week ahead. Good luck to you, Virgo. Very interesting, very intriguing reading. I like to know who these people are and how it all pans out for you. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Please stay safe and healthy. And until next month, bye for now.